Sure, iOS 5 adds a lot of features now, but what does it add for the future? There's a couple Easter eggs inside of iOS 5 that have been discovered over the past few days, and I'm gonna tell you about them as well as how to install them. The first one is a panorama utility for the camera application. You simply press the camera button on either the volume button or the regular camera button on the screen, rotate your phone, and it captures a flurry of pictures. Now, it's not without its flaws. It's certainly beta, if that. Uh, it doesn't crop the images automatically. It's still quite glitchy, and there are honestly third-party applications that do this better, but it's pretty interesting to see Apple implementing this and hoping no one would find it because it's certainly something that's been found, and I'm going to show you how to enable it yourself. It's pretty neat. Let's get started. All right, now I'm going to show you what you need to do to unlock this panorama feature for your iOS device. No, it is not exclusive to the iPhone 4S. It will work on any iOS 5.0 device. So what you're going to do is go to download under the backup bot tab on iCopyBot.com and you're going to see this option right here, iBackupBot for Mac. Now there's also one for Windows, it's called iBackupBot for Windows, and either or will work. This process is the same on both machines. So, all you need to do is download the free trial. The free trial will suffice for what we need it to do. No, you do not need to pay $35 for the full version. So once you've downloaded and installed, I backup bot, you're going to go into iTunes and plug in your device. Now, chances are if you're on iOS 5, you have backup to iCloud selected. Unfortunately, this is not going to work. You're going to need to go to backup to this computer, and then you're going to need to click sync. Okay, now if you already have this feature enabled, you should have backups already on your machine. Now, if you don't or your iPhone refuses to backup, what you can do is click encrypt iPhone backup, make up a quick fake password, and then choose set password. Now, it's gonna start doing this. Just press stop and then uncheck encrypt iPhone backup. Once you've unchecked I encrypt iPhone backup, it will perform a full backup. So you're going to allow it to backup your device entirely and completely. And once it's finished, it should do so pretty quickly, you are going to open iCopy, or excuse me, iBackupBot. Now I'm gonna click the refresh tab because I just have a new backup that came in and I can find all of my devices and select my device. Now it's going to load all of the file information containing the plist files, which we need to edit in order for this to work. So it's going to take a couple seconds to open. We're gonna fast forward to the point where it does open. Ta-da! Video editing is miraculous. So what you're going to do is click the path bar up here so that we can alphabetize them, making these plist files a lot easier to sort through. What you're going to need to do is navigate down to library slash preferences slash com dot mobile slideshow dot plist. So once we've found it and it's right there, you are going to double click it. Now, what this will do is bring up this register iBackup bot. Just click cancel and uh, this window will open. Now you're gonna scroll to the very bottom of this plist and I've already added the text necessary, which is this. Now, right after you see disk space was low slash false, you need to enter this, which is key, enable firebreak, backslash key, string, Yes, string. You can copy and paste it in the video below, but make sure it's exactly 100% accurate. No extraneous spelling errors, no extra spaces, 100% dead on, it needs to be this uh, in order for it to work. Now, once it's worked and once that's done, uh, since you've edited it, there will be a little save button up here. Now, I didn't change mine, so it's not going to prompt me to do so, but you'll click the save button and then click this little power button to close that window. Now, if you see this button right here, this will allow us to restore from our backup. Now, it's a lot faster than a regular restore. It just takes a couple seconds. And since this is your backup, you're not gonna lose any data whatsoever. So if you click this button, iTunes will open up really quickly. It will do its thing, restore, well, quote unquote, restore your device and uh, simply restore from backup. And you'll notice that everything's the same. Your apps are the same. Your emails are the same. Your contacts are all there. Everything is just as you left it. 
However, when you go to the official camera application, you will notice that there is now a panorama button. It's not completely usable and it's not absolutely for everyone. There are still some bugs and I honestly believe that there's better third-party options out there in the App Store. But if you want to give this hidden iOS 5 feature a test, I'd recommend you give it a shot. It's a lot of fun and it's very easy to do. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.